Let's build a Dreamliner. Uh, it's not really 100%. <laughs> I think I did it wrong. See, it's curved. Ah, uh, we'll see. All right, so I will be using my old method on building the fuselage. Uh, I mean, there are some easier ways, I would say, with some like foam blocks and then sanding or with hot wire. It works, but it's so dirty and I'm, I'm not sure. I will just stick with this because it's super light. And so the fuselage is going to be in three pieces. Uh, this is the middle section and here is going to be the nose around 80 centimeters and the tail from here is around uh, around uh, around well, one one meter uh, so I made this lock mechanism which is it's very simple and it's really good strong but looks like those screws are not so good if I tie the screws they don't move anymore because they are not straight I need something like this not like this you see the difference here it's straight so it's easier to slide uh, I have only one screw of this so I'll go get some tomorrow but for now I will just use this temporary and yeah so it works like this it's very simple just unlocks throw the out and then like this to the right and it's locked and I can add some screws in here just to secure it and strong and good oh uh, yeah i hate making the nose because it's so hard <laughs> to do it <laughs> This is so boring and now the hard part which is the nose I have to cut them piece by piece again I wish I have a CNC machine this is the side view of the fuselage nose and this is the top and this has to be placed in here and then I will uh, uh, finish them with uh, with the bulkheads but the thing is the nose is curved and that means I have to cut this curve and the side view has to be bent without breaking it 
to follow this otherwise it will end up because it's in the middle it will go straight will end up here and then we uh, the nose will be just uh, not the nose of the airplane so it has to be curved so that two points meet exactly at the nose tip uh yeah let's see. So this is like the main spar for the fuselage to make it strong. I could have just used some carbon fiber rods, but I mean they are expensive and with this piece of wood around two centimeters and with carbon fiber on both sides, uh, it makes it really, really strong more than enough. And this would be like this main spar would be the base to, uh, to uh, mount the uh, wing mount and the nose gear. I will also like make the whole plate for it here also connect it to the main spar to make it really strong. I will also use the same thing on inside the wings. I think I won't be using any carbon fiber rods except for the elevators. Save some money and it's the same result I would say. <music> Now let's build the tail. These are the perfect screws. Now I used foam for the bulkheads in the middle to make it lighter. I could have done it with wood, all of it wood, that means I would have to cut everything on a CNC machine because cutting all of these by hands is a nightmare. So I used foam and uh, I have done this before using wood everywhere. It's perfect, it's so strong but the thing is it's a bit heavier. I did this once for a project and that airplane was not supposed to fly so I, I did not care about the weight. But this, this airplane has to fly and that's why it's light.
This rudder is amazing. I made a really 100% like a Dreamliner with the small curve at the tip. And it's working so good. This hinge. So happy with this. The rudder without fiberglass is 133.34 grams. This is super ultra light. With fiberglass this could be, I don't know, 250 or something, still ultra light. It's amazing. It doesn't fit inside the frame. It's too big, yeah, like this. Uh, it's three meters long. That's huge. I could hit the ceiling. <laughs> anyway, I want to see the weight. Hold it. 858. I have to hold it. 850 grams. Perfect. It's hundred and fifty grams. Okay, I am still not sure how much I should expect total weight of the airplane. I don't know. I will try my best to keep it light because of the engines. If I can like add two batteries so I can have double time the flight, that will be also very very cool. Uh, I don't know, 10 to 12 more, maybe less, I have no idea. But I would do my best to keep it as light as possible. Anyway, I think it's enough for this video. Uh, next part, I will build the elevators. And I will, uh, still not sure, I will install the nose gear because I did not buy the retracts yet. And uh, I will start the wings for sure. On the wings, I will use a new method. Maybe I will try to to get this uh, curve or the wing flex. It will look so cool. Uh, I did not uh, did not work with my Shrivel <laughs> Seven because the the the, the Shrivel Seven Nine X has those wings. They fall like this. They are so cool. But here I made uh, my my wings super strong, so they are like piece of steel <laughs> they don't curve at all so yeah i will try to make this feature here and the dreamliner will look more realistic with those flicks they will look so cool and yeah let's see what i can do so next part hopefully i don't know two weeks maybe maybe less i'm not sure but i'm working every day on the airplane i will try my best to finish the airplane uh very fast so i will have for the next season three airliners very cool airliners and i'm so excited so yeah enough for this video if you have any questions write them in the comments and i try to answer and of course i i i i showed some details on these videos of course i because i get many questions from all of you on the materials i'm using stuff uh, things and unfortunately i cannot answer every comment i do my best of course so I'm trying to explain as much as I can, so it makes it easier for you to understand what's going on. And uh, yeah, so any questions, just post them. And subscribe, and of course, don't forget to click the notification bell so you receive a notification when I upload something because it's, it's not working with YouTube. If, I, if you did not click this notification bell, you receive nothing, so you don't know that I uploaded a video. So better to uh, activate that uh, bell, ring the bell. Anyway, guys, check out my Patreon if you would like to support me uh, on this project. And thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.